Okay, it's time for the April 2020 Garden Side Chat at New Howard uh, for this month. Uh, two entrance through commentary, and what I did was I just put all the information on two separate sheets of paper, the question and answer. That way it makes it easy. Normally when Howard's here, he has the questions, and I write down all the answers uh, with each question. But uh, this should make it a bit easier. I don't have to have two separate uh, pieces of paper. So here we go. Two entrance. The die is cast. Still the same hat. Okay. <laughs> he wins again. I can't do that thing like Howard does. I can't. I can't do that. Um, this is by Roxas Homesteading Doghouse, and his question for April 2020: Any on, any advice on getting good germination on seeds people are trying to start? Um, that's a really good question. Uh, right off the bat, I have a hard time uh, getting seeds to Germany. Um, tomatoes, they're fairly easy um, to get those to germinate and, and to grow. They only keep up with it. Um, but uh, like peppers, bell peppers, hot peppers, whatever, chilies, doesn't matter. Um, I have a very difficult time with it and other people as well have a, a difficult time getting <clears throat> uh, peppers to uh, germinate. So, uh, one of the things people use is when they when they have their little either their uh, soil starters or the little pods or whatever else in containers. Um, underneath all of it, they have uh, like a heating mat uh, that you can buy for planting. That you just have whatever your growing medium sits on top of that so that the the, the medium gets warm. Um, then you have your seed, your water, and everything else, and then you'd want to have some sort of cover uh, to make it like a like humid, uh, so like a dome of some sort or plastic wrap covered that way, uh, so that then from the bottom up your, your seeds will start to germinate. Uh, some other people use uh, as a first step uh, is called potassium nitrate, or you can find it as saltpeter. Um, Kind of looks like like salt or like an Epsom salt type thing. It looks like um, people take that product, mix it in water, dissolve it, and then they put their seeds in it. To it does something with the outer hull or something where it softens up the seed. Does something to where you're able to uh, a bit easily, a bit more easily uh, germinate the seeds. I tried it before. It didn't work. I tried it with peppers, of course, and it it, it didn't work. Um, so it's supposed to make germination easier, I don't know. Um, one thing I do know with, with germination is if you have a spot and your layout is that you are going to have four eggplant and you're going to have four tomatoes, four bell peppers, let's just say, that's your space. Um, you're going to want to seed 12 of each or maybe eight of each. You're going to want to overseed um, because not all of them are going to germinate. Uh, it's better to have uh, extra uh, than not enough for what you want. Um, and if you are able to get uh, most all of them to germinate and you can't use them, go ahead and share them with somebody. Share them with the neighbor, share them with someone else. Um, don't let them go to waste. I mean, if, if you have to throw it away, throw it in your compost, of course, right? So um, that's, that's basically all that I can give. I'm not terrible at getting things to germinate. Thanks for that uh, question. Uh, anyone knows the last question? Put in commentary for May 2020 or you can email me at gmail.com. Uh, also, thank you to uh, the Reed Garden. She was the other person that uh, asked a question. So, up the dopes. Thanks very much for watching. This is Grow Me Something Mister. And remember, let's see, what do I want to Remember, don't have an next line yet, so. See you later, everybody.